Is it okay if I start talking? This is the one that right. we, yeah. Grace Glenn. <clears throat> Good afternoon, folks. Hi, Grace. I am Grace Lynn, and I have lived in Jensen Beach for over 33 years. I am 100 years young. I'm here. I do want to add one thing quickly. I actually taught at the high school for the uh, senior citizens to learn computer skills. Anyway, I'm here to pro protest our school's district book banning policy. My husband, Robert Nickel, was killed in action in World War II. At a very young age, he was only 26 defending our democracy, constitution, and freedoms. One of the freedoms that the Nazis crushed was the freedom to read the books they banned. They stopped the free press, banned and burned books. The freedom to read, which is protected by the First Amendment, is our essential right and duty of our democracy. Even so, it is continually under attack by both the public and private groups who think they hold the truth. In response to the book banning throughout our country and Martin County, last year, during the time I was 99, I have created this quilt. To remind all of us that these few of so many more books that are banned or targeted need to be proudly displayed and protected and read if you choose to. The quilt was shown on national TV as part of Ali Valshi's Banned Book Club segment. Banned books and burning books are the same. Both are done for the same reason. Fear of knowledge. Fear is not freedom. Fear is not liberty. Fear is control. My husband died as a father of freedom. I am a mother of liberty. Banned books need to be proudly displayed and protected from school boards like this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.